Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a REST service with Java and Eclipse and then deploy it on an AWS instance of Elastic Beanstalk. First thing you're going to need to do is get a newer version of Eclipse and download Tomcat 8 because what we want to do is create a dynamic web project running in Apache Tomcat 8. Ours will just be called test because I'm lazy and actually we're going to go next, next, we need to generate a web.xml. So make sure you've generated that. All right, so now that we've made this, make sure your web XML is in here. If not, you're going to have to create one. Uh, but now that we have that, we're going to create a Maven project out of this. So right click on your project, configure, convert to Maven project, test rest, no description. So once we create this, it will create a pom.xml, uh, which specifies our version, packaging, all that. In here, you can see we've got configuration stuff. Uh, we've got a version number. We want it in war file. Brings in some artifacts. You don't really need to know what this means. It's just Maven's way of creating your project build. So we're going to press enter down here, and I'm going to bring in a few dependencies. So hold on one sec, and I'll get those. All right, so as you can see, I've added a few dependencies after slash build. So we have ASM, we have Jersey, JSON, more Jersey stuff. And so this one is not necessary for this tutorial. This is a MySQL connector in case you ever want to use a database with this web service. So we'll just leave that in here for future use. And now that we have these in here, the next thing we're going to have to do is alter our web XML. Because right now it just has a display name and a welcome file list. But we don't even have welcome files, so that's not a problem. What we need to do is we need to get servlets and servlet mapping. So I'll bring those in. All right, so you can see we have a servlet with a servlet named Jersey Web Application. And you want this to be exactly the same right here. Um, this will load it directly on startup, so there will be no welcome page, no none of that. And the mapping, it's going to be the same name, and we're going to do it slash test slash star. So basically, when we have our Elastic Beanstalk instance, it'll be on the web. We'll add slash test slash whatever our REST service is, and it will execute it. So now, we need to create a package in here, well, we'll call it com.test because I'm very lazy with my names. And we're going to create a new class, we'll call it F to C. And that's going to be Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion. So there's a few imports you want. I'm just going to bring them in right now instead of right click import every time I need it. All right, there we go. So right off the bat, what we need to add is slash path and then we need to give this a name. So we'll say F to C. And so now when we enter that path after slash test, it will go to this. Next thing we need to do is we need to give this class a method. So when we enter slash path slash F to C, we'll get something. We'll call it application slash JSON. Don't need a semicolon there, just a weird habit of mine. All right, so now let's make this method. It's going to be a public response. And we're going to say convert F to C throws JSON exception, because when we're creating a JSON object, there can't be exceptions thrown. But I don't want to care about that. It looks like we have an error. I think that's just because I spelled stuff wrong. Yes, it is. All right, now let's create our JSON object. Call it JSON new JSON object. And what we're going to do is we're going to have um, our float f equals 98.4. Oh, you have to put an f after, don't you? Yeah, all right. I'm going to be lazy and do double then because I'm weird like that. And then we're going to have double Celsius. So what we're going to do is Celsius is going to equal Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. Anyone wondering what this is? It's just the Celsius Fahrenheit conversion. And so now we're going to go JSON.put 
f, we're going to give it the value f, and then json.put c, give it the value of c. So this is just going to put string value, this is the key, we're calling it f, we could also call it Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit value, but this is the shortest, so that's what I'm going to do. Next is going to be a little weird, and it's just like formatting the result to something good looking, so we're going to say equals at produces and then we'll do a escape character application slash json escape character output and we'll say f to c conversion and then json so now it's going to put our json object in here and this is just a way to format your results you don't have to do this, I just like to, because I'm trying to return it as a response. Status 200.entity result.build. This is just a way to build the response. So now we have this method, and when we go, let's just do it up here. So the path is going to be, uh, do it like this just to be a little more clear. All right, so the path from here is www blah blah blah, blah elastic beanstalk blah, blah blah slash test slash f to c. That's what it is, and that's this will get called because this is the default method for it. But let's say we want to put a Fahrenheit value in. We want to be like f value. 932.1 because we want something really hot I guess. What we're gonna say is that path and then uh, we'll just do it this way just because it's kind of implied so we'll take out that Fahrenheit value and just make it at path F. So now when we do slash F to C slash F this will get called. And we aren't actually typing f, we're typing a Fahrenheit value. And we're still bringing back JSON. And it's still going to return a response. And this is convert f to c input. So we have to grab that path parameter. So we're going to say path param f, because that's the name of the path parameter in the brackets. We're going to call it a float f throws JSON exception. This, is, this means we're expecting it to be a float, so always make sure you're inputting floats, or else there will be problems. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have JSON equals new JSON object. We're going to go with float this time. Float c, c equals f minus 32 times 5 divided by 9 and honestly from here it's exactly the same we could copy the rest of that down because we've created our C value from the parameter F this time so everything else here is just building the output once we've saved that what we want to do is we want to go over here and we want to run as maven install so what this is going to do is it's going to build 0.0.1 .0 snapshot.war in our target directory. There it is. All built. Yay. So next thing we need to do is go down to Elastic Beanstalk, which is AWS. You need to get an account first. Once you do, you go over to E Elastic Beanstalk. It'll bring you to here. You're going to create a new application test rest. Uh, I'll leave the description blank. We want this to be a web server running on Tomcat and it's going to be Tomcat 8 Java 8 and that's why you need Tomcat 8 uh, to build your application. Now it wants an application version. We're going to upload our own. So we have the target just created. So we're going to bring that in and you could leave the deployment limits click next and it should ask you if you want to I think change your URL to something unique which is pretty cool so you can almost have your own website for free 
Ours is just going to be test rest environment. It might create something weird. Oh, no, that's open. Okay. So it's available, testrestenvironment.elasticbeanstock.com. We'll use that. Here you can create your RDS database instance, which is awesome because REST applications are usually for communicating with a database for the user without the user directly accessing the database. So this is why you want that MySQL connector dependency is so you can connect to it. So we're just going to click next. We don't need any of this stuff. It's all set. No key value pairs needed. And make sure you have the right permissions set up if you don't know what these are. Um, I could spend a lot of time talking about them, but just check it out. AWS is pretty, pretty clear what you need to do and how to do it, and there's a lot of stack overflow if you ever have any trouble. So I've already got stuff set up. I'm just going to go with those. Here's the review. We just want to launch our bad boy, and this will take a bit, so I'll skip to when it's done. All right, so I forgot to mention one thing when we were building our application. Uh, we needed to, I, don't, I didn't save my web XML, and I'm not sure if that was the problem, but I also didn't right click Maven update project. Make sure to update the project because that will be the best way to get these dependencies updated and in this project. And once you update and save your web XML, then go ahead and run Maven install again. Sorry about mentioning that, but once you do that, upload and deploy your new war from the install, and you should be able to go to your Elastic Beanstalk environment, which is this, and it'll be like, oh, 404 error. That's because nothing's there, and that's okay. If we go to test, F to C, you see we have our F, which is 98.4, and the converted C value. And now, if we input 75, we have Fahrenheit 75 converted C value. So that's pretty cool. Now we have our own little REST service. And it won't actually look like this when you do it, unless you have the plugins or the extensions I have in Chrome. The raw is going to look like this. It's going to say we're producing application JSON. Output is the F to C conversion. And we have C and F. And then the same thing for this. The raw which is what you'll see, looks like this, but I also have um, a JSON parser so it shows it all nice and pretty. And that should do it. I hope you learned something and you can deploy your own REST services on Elastic Beanstalk now. Thanks for watching.